You think Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. You think, or at least you should be thinking, David Fry. <laughs> He's been doing this. He's been the voice of the Westminster Show for 124 years now. It's amazing. <laughs> it is. I'm, I'm just barely holding together to get another one here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It is the greatest dog show on the planet. Absolutely. Tell, tell me about it. Well, we're especially excited this year. I mean, of all the 24 years that I've done it, I think I'm more excited about this one because we're, we're in a, an additional facility, a new facility, so we can increase our entry. We can get back to our benching the way it was. Uh, 2,700 dogs, 2,721 to be exact. And uh, we have all kinds of dogs coming, all kinds of people coming, lots of room, plenty of things to do for people to come and hang out with the dogs and the people and get to see the dogs that they love and the breeds that they love and find out more about the ones they may not know so much about. Uh, bench dog shows. You mentioned it's a bench show. That's kind of a rare breed in of itself these days. Explain what a bench show is. Well, a bench dog show is where the dogs have to be there all day long. And they have to be in a specific area so that I know if I want to see Beagle number 28, if he's not in the ring being shown or if he's not out being exercised, he has to be on his bench. And what that means is I can walk down a row and here's every Beagle in a row. Now, that's heaven for Beagle people, of course. But <laughs> if you're interested in getting a Beagle for your family, you have the opportunity not only to get up close and personal and do a lot of hugging and petting, but you get to talk to the breeders and the owners and the handlers that have those dogs and live with those dogs, and they can tell you all about them. What makes Westminster special? Oh, I think there are a lot of things. First of all, our legacy, you know, 137 years this year, is, uh, we're the second longest continuously held sporting event in this country, as you well know, behind only... The Kentucky Derby. And a boy, do your homework. Thank you. Uh, we're in the world's greatest sporting arena in Madison Square Garden. We've been there since the beginning. Um, we're a few steps off of Broadway in yeah. New York City, and... Uh, and it really is the show that uh, all the great dogs get to. It's the only show all year where all the great dogs are in the same place at the same time. Well, that's the thing. They're all champion dogs, but first of all. But moreover, these are the best dogs representing their breeds, 180... 187 breeds and varieties. Yeah, that there is really on the planet now. Well, and people shoot for this show. You know, we, we go around to dog shows during the year, and Westminster has become a single word to a lot of dog show people, the garden. Are you yeah. going to the garden? Well, we all know what that means. It means, are you coming to Westminster? This year, it's the garden and the piers, but but the garden has become kind of the byword uh, of our show. And and yes, people want to get there. They want the world to see their dogs. They're proud of their dogs. You know, breeders are like artists. They're trying to produce the next great dog, but also the next generation of healthy and happy dogs for, for families, too. So I have one little question for you. It's not a tough question. I think it's a fair question. Who's going to win? Oh, see, you always ask me. I, you know, if, if I knew, we wouldn't have to have the dog show. Yeah, that would be true. <laughs> <laughs> I, obviously, nobody knows, but when Michael Doherty uh, from, from uh, San Diego, California, steps into the ring he's and makes his choice, he's judge. the best in show judge. When he looks at those final seven, he's going to have seven great dogs to select from. Okay, and we and say, it, you know, is it a tough job or is it an easy job? Well, I think you can close your eyes and point, and you're going to get a great dog. But that judge is going to be all over those dogs, and find, finding the one that he thinks best fits its standard as the, the perfect specimen of its breed. And more than anything else, what is he going to be looking for? Well, I think at that level, you know, you're probably going to have seven dogs that are great representatives of their breed, at least in someone's eyes. I mean, they've had to get through the breed competition and then the group competition to get that far. But I think you're going to have to find a dog that owns the ground it stands over. And great what, show dog, great personality, whatever you want to call it. It's got to, it's got to show. A so, confident dog confident dog a dog that wants it that's it absolutely but it has to be within you know the personality and the temperament that's described by its standard you know not every dog is going to go out there and stand like a statue uh-huh and not every dog is going to is going to move the way that that the afghan hound moves of course they're not. all going to move differently and you have to know that as a judge which is right for that particular breed and that's the dog that's going to win uh, you go to the website if you can't go to New York. Can you see some things on the website? Well, this year, for the first time, uh, we are putting streaming video live of all of the breed judging. Wow. 187 breeds and varieties, start to finish. Exhausting. For the last seven years, we've only done it. We've only done highlights. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't live. It was, it was playback later. Yeah. But now it's live. You want to see it at the same time. You want to see those 61 golden retrievers that are entered at Westminster. You'll get to see them all. When is the show on? Uh, it's on February 11th and 12th. The groups at night from Madison Square Garden are on from 8 to 11 on CNBC on Monday night. 
and on USA Network on Tuesday night. He's the great David Fry. He is great. Westminster Kennel Club dog show. Thanks, Dave. You bet, Steve.